let's briefly talk about a more simple way or a more pleasing way to work with menus in SwiftUI. You have probably used menus before and if you haven't, they are really easy to set up. Basically, a menu allows you to group several buttons or other UI components like text or link into a pop-up. So in this example, I have a more label here with an ellipsis.circle as a symbol. And when the user taps uh, or clicks on it, then a pop-up will come up with all of the different menu items. And this works on several different platforms. And the API that we are looking at today is actually dated back into iOS 15. So you can probably use this in all of your projects, not just in the new iOS 18 stuff that uh, has been uh, in, in beta right now. Of course, the menu can also be used in a navigation bar uh, or any other toolbar. But uh, in this example, I just kept it as a simple menu button. Um, you, you might have noticed that this menu has four items and four might still be okay, but starting with five or six items, that is too much. And you might want to have some visual hierarchy inside of the menu. You could do this with colors or bold text or different kinds of symbols in here. Those aren't the kinds of uh, UI elements that users expect on iOS. Instead, what they expect is for you to take the buttons that you want to have have more prominent in your UI, basically, or in your um, menu, and you embed them in a control group. This is just a container view, which you can use in different places, but uh, it's mostly used in menus. And now when we click the menu, you will notice that we have two sections, one regular section with dummy and move, the two bottom items here. And it's also to note that a menu goes bottom up. So the one that's at the very bottom of your declaration is at the very top of the menu or the furthest away from the menu starting point. And then we have a second section, which is our control group that visually uh, divides our menu into two sections. It has a different display mode here with the symbol above the text. And uh, this way it's much easier to highlight some uh, buttons in your menus. Of course, in this example here, delete would be a destructive action. So we could give this a role of dot destructive. Once the preview rebuilds, you will notice that delete is automatically colored in red for the iOS platform. And I think it's similar for macOS as well. So this is just a very uh, brief introduction to using control group and role in your menus.